So I've had my Tormac mill for just over a year and a half now. And in that time, I've used it a lot. Run it hard and quite literally put it away wet. So things like the coolant drain screen, see a lot of wear. You know, this gets packed full of chips all the time. And then to clean it up, you know, we put gloves on and just kind of scrape them out or vacuum them up or something. And this screen sees a lot of kind of scraping and wear and stuff. So it's a stainless steel mesh, really thin, um, good stuff. But if you can see, there's a hole up there, there's a hole there, there's a hole there. So that means that large chips are actually getting through the mesh down into my coolant tank. Not the end of the world, but certainly not something you want to continue doing. Um, so I looked and looked for a replacement mesh that's maybe a bit of an upgrade, stronger, um, maybe a way to reinforce it or something. And there's quite a few threads on the various forums like CNC Zone, Practical Machinist and stuff about how guys are upgrading their mesh thingy. And uh, so I found some pretty cheap stuff at McMaster Car and I'm going to install it right now. I decided to go for a two-staged approach. Super thick, beefy stuff so that you know, weight doesn't bow it down like that one did. That one ended up, you know, it was flat when I first got it and now it looks like that because it's stretched and bowed and everything. So this will keep it nice and flat and then I got a um, thicker fine mesh to catch all the little stuff. So doing a quick measurement of the wire size on this one, it measures out to be around five thousandths of an inch, whereas the new one I got is twelve thousandths. Um, I didn't exactly know what the old one was because I didn't come out here and measure it. So I just guessed the 12 thou, it looked about right. Um, but you can see it's quite a bit denser. I, I'm pretty sure that the wire spacing is the same. Um, this one's 30 lines per inch, so there's actually 30 grids per inch. Uh, this one looks to be about the same, just with, some, with a much thinner wire size. So I mean, I'd probably be good just throwing this in by itself, considering that the wire is like over twice as thick as this, um, but we'll see. Maybe I'll try that first and I'll keep this one for later because this will be interesting to cut. I'll probably have to use an abrasive wheel or something to cut through this. I can't do it with snips. So in the mindset of just getting the stuff done and not wasting too much time, I think I will put this aside and uh, maybe if I need it later I'll do it again later. But just getting a 12 by 12 sheet of this um, it, it'll give me at least two, two separate pieces that I can use, so that's very useful. And this stuff was cheap. I don't remember exactly what it was, but it was like 10 bucks or something. Um, I got it from McMaster Car. So I got them from McMaster Car. Here is the packaging that they came with. Um, I don't know if these part numbers will exactly work at McMaster, but they probably will. But if you need to, you can just look up. There are 304 stainless steel. Uh, the big one has three lines per inch. That's why it's such a big grid. At 63 thou um, wire size. And then this one is 30 wires and uh, 12 thou wire size. So yeah, it'd be pretty easy just to snip this up and put it in. Let's do that right now. So I tossed on some thick nitrile gloves just because I'm clean right now and I'm being a wuss and I just want to keep my hands clean. Um, <coughs> simple, obviously, just six Phillips heads to get it off. Alright, then inside there should be a... Yeah. This guy, and it's just sandwiching this this thing in place. Yeah, and I mean, this is no big deal. This is totally a wear item. I don't mind having to replace this after a year and a half. Cool. So I'm gonna clean that up and then cut the new one to size. I can tell here that they had to cut through the through the mesh to get the screws through. So that's something to keep in mind. No big deal, but. So measuring the cavity inside, looks like the length, length is just under 10 and 5 eighths of an inch and the width is just under 4 and 3 eighths. Just 
Just using these tin snips that literally came with the house. No problem. Moment of truth. Yeah, it's about perfect. Tiny hair too wide, but I think it'll fit fine. So while I've got everything out and I know the measurements, I'm going to cut up a second one just so that I have it ready and available. So if I need to do this again, it takes, you know, a minute instead of 10 minutes. The screws seem to be a metric M5 or maybe something slightly smaller in Imperial, but either way, the total screw measures 0.186 and then the threaded clearance hole on the back um, is 0.165 or something. So I've got a 0.156 uh, drill bit here, which is 532nd, and I'm just popping through. And that should clearance it just fine. Ta-da! Should be good to go now.